Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. As you all know, this is Mental Health Month, and um, it has been very challenging for me. Um, that's pretty much um, some of the reasons that I haven't been making videos like I usually do is because right now I have to protect my mentals. And and because of the uh, post-traumatic stress and um, the events of, you know, maybe the last month, so I, I've been kind of standing on shaky ground. And fortunately for me, I have a support system. Um, I know what to do and I know where to go when I don't feel like I'm at my best. So I just wanted to come on and let the family know that, you know, there's a lot of us that are... Um, dealing with a lot of stuff a lot of us are not able and in a position to talk about it because maybe we don't know how maybe we don't want to um don't know how basically i i like to stay right there because it's not something especially as african americans that we are you know um accustomed to talking about i remember growing back growing up you know it, it, it was a real big stigma saying that you, you know, needed mental help or you was looking for a therapist. Those are the kind of things that were shunned down upon in the black community. Hopefully, we're growing because we're not where we need to be in terms of dealing with our mentals. So what is important is that I come out here as an example to let you know that personally, ever since um, Sade Robinson has gotten, um, you know, murdered the way she has, it has really uh, shook up a lot of my, uh, just a lot of my, un my, mm, how do you explain it? My, a lot of my insecurities my a lot of my just anxiety over killings and things in our community and especially when the individuals uh, are disposed of the way she was so it's causing a lot of um anxiety to conjure up in me and when I talk to my therapist, that's exactly how I I have to come across. It just makes me think of all the murder, um, all these dismemberments that um, I've been hearing and reading about, um, and the, de the demonic forces that are among us that we walk and share bread, and maybe our co-workers with, People that, you know, we see every day or we pass on the street. We don't know what mentally that they're dealing with. We don't know what they're dealing with mental, mentally. And so a lot of times, you know, either we dismiss people or we just, you know, we don't take the time and look in their eyes and see if everything is okay. I personally don't want to be that person so that's why I'm, I'm on right now and I'll be doing a few more videos I'm coming out of my funk but I've been in a, a real good funk just to be totally transparent with you God, guys I want y'all to know that um, you know everything ain't always shining and every day ain't a sun, sunny day I go through battles just like the rest of y'all and I have been dealing with um some real post-traumatic energy. So anybody else out there that's going through something, feeling something like that, 
I want you to know that, you know, get some help. And sometimes it ain't always, it's good to talk to your girlfriends but or your boyfriends, but sometimes that's not always acceptable. It's not always what gets the job done. Sometimes we need to talk to somebody that's um, equipped. And some people say, I just got prayer. I just, I don't want to hear that. Um, and that's good that you do. But some of us pray and need a little bit more. And for those that are in that situation, um, I'm speaking to you. Okay? So, I just wanted to check in and let y'all know that I, I'm climbing up out my grave. I'm still climbing. But uh, I think I needed to let my uh, friends know, albeit my internet friends, that um, I'm okay. Uh, for those of y'all who asked, thank you. And um, I'm going to try to put some content out. And I'm going to see you, you all in the next video. Bye-bye.